Hello. Over the past like eight years, I've had like a major goal to work for myself. And um, it was about three years ago, I had like a big shift, or more of a, like a, I had a moment where I just sat down and it's like, because I was always just running about trying to make things happen. Um, and I just like sat down and was like, what do I want? Like, what do I actually want? It's like, okay, I just want to be, like, have fun, have a laugh. Before you go further, can you hold your place? Because we just want to set something into a clear place. It wasn't eight years ago that you started, but that's okay. But as you are exploring the contrast of life, you've been launching these rockets into your vibrational reality for longer than you know. And those desires have one by one become cooperative components with the other desires. In other words, there's been a consideration of each desire to the others. And there's become a cooperative component after cooperative component and until there has been a becoming of you that's been happening for longer than eight years ago and longer than three years ago. In other words, you've been in the process of becoming and it's all been so good. But at the point that you begin to reflect on your becoming and you begin to be more deliberate about what you say and what you think and what you do, what's really happening then is that you are taking those step three steps where you're beginning to let more of what you've already asked for in. And this is an important distinction because we want you to know that you have enough in your vortex to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes and that you are now refining it. But mostly what you are about now is finding a way to more and more be in harmony with the sum total of what you've put there. Does that make sense to you? You don't have to keep figuring it out. Life has caused you to already figure it out now. What you want to do is feel your way through thinking of thoughts to what you've already figured out, which mostly means catch yourself in your off moments, catch yourself in your unsatisfied moments and turn those into more satisfied moments. That's the key to letting what's in that vortex come into full manifestation where you can witness its becoming. The joy of life is not for everything to come out of your vortex all of a sudden and be a manifestation. The joy of life is for you to get to witness it coming piece by piece in satisfying increments into your experience. You couldn't even comprehend the magnitude of it if it all came at once. You would be dazed and overwhelmed and you would think that someone else had done it. There would be little satisfaction in that. It's that big. It's that magnificent. But when you let it come, which is the only way it can come, it can only come out where you can recognize it and see it when you are vibrationally ready for it. So it's the readiness that we want to talk about, not the further creation of it. You've created it. Now let yourself be ready for it by being happier more. Does that make sense? Yeah. The, yeah. So when I had that moment, it was just kind of like I let go of everything like just like okay set my job but um, like I just stopped doing what I was doing and just just thought okay I'm just gonna go and just focus on it's not so much about what you're doing it's about how you feel while you're doing it so once you isolate what the feeling of satisfaction is then you'll begin to notice everything that you're doing and how satisfied or not satisfying it is let that be your criteria because most humans are using all kinds of other criteria to evaluate how well they're doing but if you can just for a little while we're talking about just a little while because there's so much ready to pop for you if just for a little while you can just let feeling satisfied be the only thing that is important to you then you'll start getting what we're talking about as realization after realization will just pile in 
There will be moments in time where there will be such a convergence of so many things that you care about happening all in the same moment that you will feel like the most blessed, most understood being in the entire universe. That's how it feels, especially when you've done the kind of creating that you've done through the sifting and sorting of life that you've lived. It's been big. You can feel it, can't you? Well, yeah, it's from that moment, like, Things just went a bit like I found like time in everything just all happened at perfect time and well, then I you was... know what timing is timing is you being tuned in and your inner being knowing exactly where to put you and when and you being so tuned in that you follow the impulse and meet the mark that's what timing is all the other cooperative components are already lined up for you you just got to show up and there are so many people missing that timing because they can smell smoke in the hallway. We're not picking on you, we get it. Because there's some irritant that is keeping you from being there. <laughs> yeah, so, so I, I quit my job and I work for myself like since the start of last year. How is that? It's, it's awesome. I'm, yeah, it's just, it's just me my thoughts and last year it's just I've been focusing more on like how I feel as well working out pretty good for you yeah well <laughs> <laughs> well it's, it's like this goal for myself why did you quit your job um because I was feeling more like what I'm doing now it's like I felt pulled like what you're talking about with inspired action so it it's, wasn't so much that you stopped doing something as that you started doing something else yeah i was doing i started doing something while i was working and i felt the pull more to that and that's I really good reason to move in that direction so different words are in order rather than saying i quit my job say i evolved past it okay oh, i like that i've been inspired to more than it offered and have found it Feel the difference because when you say I quit my job it's like I liked this more but I didn't like this well just clean that up by acknowledging why you went where you went and so that's been a big focus of mine to work myself and now I've done that and I'm like now what and well, you got to trust what's in the vortex because there's plenty there for a now what. But if you're not finding the now what, then there's something going on in your vibration. That's why we really want you to hear this. It'll be so easy for you to get this is that if you still have that feeling of now what, what should I do now? What's next for me? Then that's an indicator that you're hanging around without even knowing it in some unsatisfying thoughts and feelings because they feel familiar. So they don't feel that off to you. But once you begin really isolating, identifying first, and then isolating what feelings of satisfaction feel like so that you're holding yourself more steadily there, then what happens is the now what occurs to you. The next logical step just occurs to you and nothing could keep you from it, sort of in the way that you felt earlier when you decided to go. That yeah. feeling will continue for you, that, you see. That, that's the feeling that I'm looking for it's like you're well, not I'm... stalled out but hear those words it's what I'm looking for which means it's what I'm asking but asking is a different vibration because when you're asking you're almost always in a place of not having what you're asking for can you feel that subtle but really important distinction you just bring resistance with that question so you've asked that question enough that you've really created something supersonic now stop asking what where when who just think about how good it feels and what satisfaction feels like really it will smooth things out and the next idea will come and then the next and then the next you see here's what we would like you to feel this is a good way to sum up this conversation today let's say that you are in an environment like you are in this environment where there are many places that you could find food today lots of different choices and you pick a particular place maybe you're in the dining room maybe you're in one of the specialty restaurants maybe you're up top with all of that variety of that magnificent buffet and you have found something that you really like and you are 
enjoying it. Under those conditions, you would not find yourself wishing that you were in all the other restaurants because satisfaction is satisfaction. And so we want you to receive from us that you don't have to do the identifying anymore. You did it. And you don't have to do the figuring out anymore because you did it incrementally and the cooperative components have figured it out one with another and your inner being knows every bit of all of it and is giving it to you in the proportion that you are ready to receive it. So if you can just for a little while focus upon how satisfied you are right where you are. I get to follow my own bliss and I get to do pretty much what I want and thoughts flow easily with me and I'm not contained by anything and I have the mobility to do what I want and I know that it's getting bigger and better and I can feel the fullness of who I am and I like those moments of clarity and I like those feelings of satisfaction and I also like knowing when I'm not satisfied and I like being able to contour my thoughts in order to bring myself back to satisfaction I like feeling my ability to hold myself in the vibrational proximity of who I am I like the knowledge that my inner being is aware of me and I like knowing that my inner being is in on this with me and I like knowing that the cooperative components have already been gathered and I like knowing that I will know them when I see them and I like knowing that I'm in the perfect position to let them flow in and I like knowing that I don't have to figure it out all at once I like this feeling of ease and flow and satisfaction that I'm feeling right now and I like understanding the inevitability of that I like knowing that I'm the creator of my own reality and that I can be or do or have anything that I want and I don't want to know it all at once I don't want to create it all at once I just want enough moment to moment to be satisfied as I am now as I am now as I am now and then oh one thing after another until people are looking at you they cannot figure out what in the world you've done what magical world have you stepped into because you can barely speak about it before it comes into your experience most cannot even comprehend the satisfaction that is on your doorstep but you'll be able to comprehend it you'll know it even before it manifests you're sniffing it out by the way it feels we've enjoyed this interaction immensely there is great love here for you and for now we are complete